Hey, what the heck is the matter with you, huh? Why were you hanging out around one of our important clients? Oh, Kelly, I have to say, I didn't expect to run into you. I know, right? The last time I saw you was at high school graduation about 10 years ago. Who knew that I would bump into you again like that? Yep, I was definitely surprised, to say the least. I really thought that I'd seen the last of you. But, I guess the world is funny like that. I would have never thought to run into you at my husband's company, of all places. Wait, what? Your husband's company? What are you talking about? Well, I actually got married last year, and the man I got married to owns the company you saw me at. He told me that he had forgotten some important documents at home, so I was just dropping them off. I guess that his secretary was sick and called out, so he didn't have anyone else he could ask. No. Oh, this can't be right. You have got to be lying. I mean, are you actually telling me that you're married to a company president? And not just any company president, but the president of one of our most valuable partners? How in the world did someone like you manage that? First of all, I would like to remind you that I am also a representative of this company as well. So then you really help out your husband with all of his business? I mean, I, I do when he asks it of me, but normally I stay at home and take care of our family. So there aren't actually many days when I'm really going into the office. I actually just happened to be in there at the same time that you happened to show up. I see. Well, you certainly have changed, haven't you? You aren't that little crybaby that wouldn't stop yelling after she found out I stole her boyfriend from her. Instead, you're an uppity snob who thinks they're better than me because of who their husband is. Hmm? Do you really think I've changed that much since back then? Of course, I do remember how much it hurt me when I found out what you had done. So, yes, perhaps I have grown up and matured from this just a little. And I guess I learned that there are a lot of fish in the sea, so it wasn't really worth crying over a guy who cheated on me anyways. You really must think that the world revolves all around you now, huh? You really have changed. After all, I remember even after I did steal your boyfriend, you still had the guts to show your ugly face in school day after day after that. Oh man, I'm actually starting to crack up laughing just thinking about how it used to be back then. That's fine, and if you think it's funny, you should laugh. After all, it's all behind us now. And I'm afraid that your petty bullying just isn't going to work on me anymore. You really are such a bore now, do you know that? But you're right, the past is the past, and I need to be thinking about what to do next. What to do next? What do you mean by that? <laughs> well, I just wonder how you'd react if I stole your husband like I stole your boyfriend. That would just really crush you. Are you serious? Of course I am. I've made up my mind and I know what I have to do, so you can kiss your little marriage goodbye. I'm going to steal your husband and turn you back into that crying, scared little girl you were in high school. <laughs> then you'll be so crushed that you'll think twice about trying to get with a guy above your post. I really can't believe that you're actually telling me all of this. Oh, come on. Did you really think that you were going to get your happily ever after with this guy? <laughs> That's just in movies. Besides, if anyone deserves that kind of life, it's me. You may have fallen in love with this guy by chance, but when it comes to stealing men away from their partners, no one is better than me. And then once I've made your husband mine, I'll be the wife of the company president. Hey, Iris. I just wanted to thank you again for your help today. I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't brought in those documents. Well, I'm just glad that I was able to be of some help to you today. It had been so long since the last time I was in there that I had forgotten how big the building was. I always get so nervous walking through those big entrance doors. <laughs> well, you know that we're actually working on an expansion project right now, right? By the way, who was it you were talking to in the office today? Did you run into someone that you knew or something like that? Yeah, something like that. It was actually a girl I used to go to high school with. Apparently, she's working with a company that you partner with. Oh, I see. Well, wow. What a coincidence. Sometimes the world is just a little too small, don't you think? It seemed like you guys had quite a bit to talk about. But anyways, I'd love to hear about your day. Um, How about I take you out for dinner to say thanks for helping me out? I feel like it's been so long since you and I were able to go on a nice, quiet date by ourselves. 
Oh, you don't have to do that, Zeke. And as for that woman, I'll be happy if I never see her again. Wait, what? What's the matter with her? Don't you remember? I had mentioned her to you before. She was the girl from high school who stole my boyfriend from me. I had really hoped that I would never have to deal with her again. Until today, that is. You mean that was her? So what I thought was you having a friendly conversation was really... That's right. I'd done my best to avoid her ever since we graduated. I wasn't expecting to run into her at all. But when I did, I guess that I just kind of froze up. Anyways, I ended up mentioning to her that you and I were married. Oh, wow. I'm really sorry that happened then. And to think that you wouldn't have managed to avoid her if I hadn't asked for a favor of you. You really don't need to blame yourself. After all, I'm not the person I was back then, and I'm so happy to be married to you. But I just think that you should be careful, okay? Because apparently Kelly decided to make you her next target. Her next target? What does that mean? Why should I be careful? Well, she threatened to try and steal you from me like she did with my boyfriend in school. I guess she wants to take my place as the wife of the company president. What? Are you serious? What is this lady's deal? That's what I'm saying. This is why I was trying to avoid her for this long. If she hasn't improved at all since high school, then I think it's fair to say that she's only gotten worse. I mean, it's one thing to pull that kind of thing in high school, but we're all adults now. And she works for a company that we partner with? What is she thinking trying to get with a married man like me? That's just so stupid. I mean, does she not realize the effect that trying something like that could have on her career over there? I don't really think that she is the kind of person to think before she speaks. But I also doubt that she would change her mind once she's announced that she's going to do something. That's why I'm telling you to be careful. Right. Well, I guess I'll keep my eye out for her and try to stay away. Thank you so much for warning me about this. I really don't want to get suckered into any of this lady's scheme, so I'll be careful. Just thought you should know that your husband is all mine now, so be a good girl and let me marry your company president husband. I already have the divorce paperwork drawn up, so let's not drag this out, okay? What in the world are you talking about this time? Oh, you'd find out soon enough, so I'm just telling you now. I have stolen your husband, and now he is obsessed with me. Of course, I'm not all that surprised that a man like him would see the value in being with a woman like me. Literally, what in the world are you talking about, Kelly? I don't know what you're trying to tell me. Remember how I told you I was going to steal your husband? Well, I've gone and done it, and now we're going to get married, and I'll be the wife of the company president. Are you sure that you've gone and done it because i don't think you have in fact i know that my husband would never ever betray me like that so please be serious with me if you don't want to believe me then that's your fault but it's the truth your husband is head over heels in love with me and as proof he even invited me out for a lovely dinner date last night so what do you think about that you're telling me that my husband invited you out on a date? That's right. I had tried sending him so many messages and emails and he never got back to me at all. So I decided it would be best to talk to him face to face. I went into the building to go to his office and we ended up riding in the same elevator by chance. I took that chance to tell him who I was and confess my feelings for him. You confessed your feelings to my husband? That's right! And then he said that he liked my passion and invited me to a lovely restaurant with a view of the city. That means that he likes me back. And that's why I am so sorry to say, but the two of us are going to spend one hot night together. As for you, well, you can just enjoy a lonely night at home all by yourself. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but my husband is not going to go on any date with you. And I certainly don't think he said anything to express that he had feelings for you. So I'm still not quite sure why you think that you've successfully stolen him from me. If he even has invited you to dinner, I wouldn't read too much into that. You really just don't understand anything at all, do you? Why would a man invite someone other than his wife out for dinner? 
Obviously, it's because he's much more attracted to that woman than he is to his own wife. Are you serious? Of course, the only reason a man would go out to eat with a woman who wasn't his wife is if he was trying to have an affair with her. Sure, he might understand that others might see doing something like that as taboo, but the fact that he invited me proves just how much he really likes me. And if he likes me enough to go on a public date with me, then you and him are as good as done. He doesn't like you anymore. We're going to get married and there's nothing you can do about it. And so just like I stole your boyfriend in high school, now I've stolen your company president husband. So why don't you start crying already, you loser? The only crying that's happening is out of laughter. My husband and I are both cracking up at these. Wait, what? What do you mean? I mean that we're laughing so hard that tears are streaming down our faces. It hurts to laugh. Oh man, we were actually laughing so hard. I think I pulled something. Now... Hold on, just one moment. What do you mean your husband is there with you? Of course he is. The office is closed today and he didn't have anything in his schedule book. We just ordered pizza and have been staying at home basically all day. Wait, but then... I, I don't get it. Why is he choosing to have dinner with you and not me? He told me that he was going to take me out to an amazing restaurant with a view of the city. It's only a little longer until the time when he and I were supposed to meet. He's not really going to ditch me, is he? You really need to wake up and live in reality with the rest of us. I never once said that I was going out to dinner with you. Wait a second, is this Mr. Masterson? That's right, and I must say I was blown away by our interaction in the elevator. I mean, you basically cornered me and refused to let me off until I agreed to what you were saying. You forced me to ask you out to dinner, but I was never actually going to go through with that. Wait a second, I, I don't get it. I thought you were asking me out because you liked me. I only asked you out because I wanted to get off that damn elevator. I had a very important conference call that I was trying to make and I wasn't going to let you hold me up. But, I mean, oh, this can't be right. It wasn't right. I don't even remember what time I said we'd meet or where. That can't be right. You said that you were going to meet me in an hour. Well, okay then. Wait an hour and see if I show up anywhere. Just don't be surprised if your boss shows up instead of me. My boss? What are you talking about? Why would he be there? I know that I said that I would think of a place with a good view of the city, but I certainly didn't say I'd make a reservation. Anyways, the place I had in mind was your boss's office. He has quite a good view of the city at night, right? My boss's office... What are you talking about? Uh, wait a second, my boss's car just pulled up. What the heck is going on here? I thought that you were obsessed with me and that's why you wanted to go out on a date with me, right? I thought that you were trading Iris in for me. Why in the world would I ever want to be with someone like you? You spam my email with all kinds of crazy messages and cornered me in an elevator in my own company. You can bet that I showed your boss all those emails and the security footage of the elevator. He's the one who suggested speaking with you. Did he really say that? Why would you do this to me? I was willing to overlook the emails, to be honest with you, but I didn't think that you would actually try and confront me face to face. And I figured that if I was going to be dealing with someone willing to do that, that I would need to bring in some extra support. So that's why you went and told my boss about what I was doing? I thought that we were going to keep our love private at first. How could you go and get my boss involved in what's supposed to be between you and I? You still just don't get it at all, do you? I'm the president of a company that is very important to the survival of your company. Did you really think anything positive was going to come out of harassing me like you did? But I mean, I didn't think I was harassing you. If you really didn't think that was harassment, then you're only making me feel better about involving your boss. In fact, we were going to try and handle this during work hours, but I told him about the business with the elevator and fake date, and he agreed to talk to you now. This can't be happening. Things weren't supposed to go this way. Please, you have to help me. Can't we just calm down and talk about this? Oh, surely you must see how much prettier I am than Iris, right? I am much more suited to be the wife of the company president. If anyone needs to calm down and think things through, it's you. Besides, why would I want to be with you again after all this time? Be with me again? What are you talking about? 
You really don't remember? We used to date in high school. We had actually been dating about a year before you left me. In fact, I remember the day that you left me because it was actually the day that you told me you were with Iris' ex-boyfriend. Well anyways, it turns out that Iris and I were in some after school clubs together and that experience helped push us closer. Wait a second, you mean you're Zeke from high school? Ding ding ding, I had actually completely forgotten about you until Iris brought you up. It took a while for it all to come back to me, but if you thought that someone like you could ever replace Iris, you're crazy. I mean, do you really think that adults act like that? We're not in school anymore, you need to realize that. But, what's going on? I had no idea that you owned your own company. You're so different than how you used to be. Well, I don't know what to tell you except that people change over time. I'd like to think that most people improve, but you show me it's possible for people to only get worse as well. Anyways, I don't want to keep your boss waiting any longer than he needs to. And while you deal with whatever consequences he sought up for you, I'm going to enjoy a lovely, quiet night in with my wife. Have a nice life, Kelly. After that, Zeke was informed by Iris' boss that after their discussion, he had decided to let her go. What happened next really shocked me. It turns out that Iris was actually carrying on an affair with her boss and that his wife was quite suspicious. The wife hired a PI to uncover more about her husband's affair and found out about him and Kelly. Then she sued the both of them for their affair. Meanwhile, more of Iris' affairs came to light and lawsuits from upset spouses began to pour in. In the end, Kelly was buried in legal debts that she couldn't afford and lacked the income to pay them off. She quickly started working some part-time jobs and moved into a tiny apartment where she can afford to make payments on her debts. Kelly thought that as an adult, she could act the way she did when she was nothing but a high school bully. She may have even gotten away with it for a little, but her luck was bound to run out. Ever since then, Kelly's been too busy to ever try and bother us again. But that works out just fine for Zeke and I. We couldn't be happier. Alright, that's it. I've had enough of all this. I can't be married to you. I want a divorce right now. I'm sorry. What? Andre, what do you mean? What's brought this on all of a sudden? Are you for real right now? Kelly, how can you not know what's brought this on? It's been almost three years since we got married. Three years and you still haven't gotten pregnant. We have this kind of tradition that we need to follow in my family. If a married couple doesn't get pregnant within three years of getting married, the husband gets a divorce from the wife. You haven't gotten pregnant, Kelly, so I have no choice but to proceed with the divorce. We're supposed to be having a family by now. Are you being serious, Andre? Who in their right mind would call that a tradition? It's so weird and just downright crazy to me. <laughs> what? That was like crazy. That's just what my family does. All families have their traditions and their way of doing things. I wouldn't have known much about this a long time ago, but since it has continued into the present day, don't you think that tradition is crazy and outdated? Why would you seriously think that? My family are allowed to have traditions like this. But it's so different nowadays. Andre, those traditions were probably made when people thought that women were the only reason for not getting pregnant. Don't you know that men can have problems as well? It's been discovered that infertility can be a problem in males. Even if you're not infertile, there is medical evidence that stress can make it extremely difficult for couples to conceive. Did you even think about that? Besides, your own mother told me to keep having fertility tests done, like, once every six months. I get checked up on all the time. When the results come back, everything is good. I have no issues with my fertility. The most recent test I had was just under a month ago. I don't think it's right to blame me for not being pregnant yet. But you're the one who needs to be getting pregnant, so it's your fault. Something is not working down there, otherwise we would have had kids by now. It obviously means that you can't get pregnant, so what's even the point of trying to continue on like this? So that's why I need to get a divorce from you. That's my final decision, it's already been made. I guess I see what you're saying. Fine, do as you please, Andre. If you think that being cut off from the family who believes in crazy traditions like this is what should happen, then it's not such a bad thing to get a divorce. 
How dare you be so rude? Don't you dare treat me like a fool? You're the one in the wrong here. You're so useless since you can't even get pregnant. So, does that make me the crazy one then? Because I'm not admitting to your family's tradition? Wouldn't you agree that you're the crazy one? Excuse me, what? Why would you call me crazy when I'm not the one to blame for you getting pregnant? Okay, okay. I'll agree to the divorce, Andre. Have it your way then. <laughs> what? Really? You're gonna agree to this? Oh, well, well, okay, that's fine. Well, we can start the process then. This is good. I can finally go and meet myself another wife that can actually get pregnant and give me children. Okay, if that's what you want to do. However, I will demand for compensation from you and whoever this mousy woman is since it'll be an affair you're having since we're still married. What are you talking about? What compensation? You agree to a divorce. You don't get compensation if you agree to it. Just do it how it should be done and pay me properly, please. I don't understand what you're saying. I don't owe you anything. On that note, now let me go back to my parents' house. What's going on? Did your parents find out or something? You gotta be clear with me. What are you talking about? Wow, I can't believe that this is happening. <laughs> when I heard from Maisie earlier that she had seen you, I didn't expect her to say that. When I actually saw you, I was really amazed. <laughs> Why the heck is a single woman who can't even have children at an elementary school sports day? Wouldn't that make you even more depressed about not being able to have children? You're obviously trespassing, so I would definitely report you for that. <laughs> Excuse me? Who am I speaking with? What do you want from me? Oh, really? You don't know who this is? How can you not know? Uh, I see what's going on here. I suppose you didn't know that I changed my username on here. It's me, Andre, your ex-husband. I changed some details on my profile. No way. This can't be. Andre? Wow, is that really you? You stole my number? It's been a long time, Kelly, about eight years or so since the last time we talked to each other. I just took a seat over by the horizontal bars. I don't really want to interact with you as the parents around here where I'm sitting might misunderstand the situation. You can see where I'm coming from here, right? I don't really know who is who, to be honest. I just see figures of people, not distinct features. Ah, okay, I gotcha. Then you must have some really terrible eyesight then. <laughs> Andre, I didn't expect you to be around. Why are you here anyways? I decided to come along to my child's sports day today. It'd be a shame to not spend time with my family on such a fun day anyway, so I came along to watch. Oh, I see. So I assumed that you had a child with Micey then? Is that correct? You'd be right, yeah. <laughs> we would be able to have a child together. You know, thanks to you not being able to get pregnant and agreeing to get the divorce, I was able to become a father. Isn't that great? By the way, my child is a first grade elementary school student. You know, back then it was really hard because I was so angry about the alimony. But now, I don't mind. My kid is at such a cute age and I can just play with them all the time. <laughs> it's fantastic. I don't understand what would make you laugh about the situation though, when it's not even funny. What you said to me was horrible, Andre. So, is your child the student who transferred into class 2 in the semester after summer vacation? What do you mean transferred? What are you talking about? It makes me wonder what happens in terms of why your child is transferring school straight after starting one. Now, hold on just a minute. How come you know so much information about schooling and whatnot? You're an outsider. Why would you know what's going on here? I'm just curious about if this elementary school's personal information database is safe. Uh, how do you know so much? I don't know if you noticed why your child is in the same year group as mine. Uh, wait, hold up, excuse me. What are you trying to say? I'm saying my child is in the first grade. Don't you know that? They're in the same grade, but a different class and homeroom teacher. You're very funny, Kelly. Ha ha. I know you're lying right now. Why would some infertile woman say something so ridiculous? Are you trying to play me? Isn't this more to do with suspicious people that are unrelated to the school itself? That they're trespassing on the school property? 
Seriously, I should report this, right? Believe what you want, Andre. After what you did, I met someone else and got remarried. And I got pregnant and gave birth over, like, six years ago. I got informed from someone that my child was the same age as yours. I never thought that our children would end up being at the same elementary school. So nice to hear the delusions of an infertile woman. <laughs> uh, could you just cut it out? <laughs> Look, my child's event is coming up shortly, so I'm just going to end this conversation. <laughs> wow, well, too bad we have to end this delusional conversation. <laughs> Your presence on school property is a bit suspicious. I'm gonna go and talk to the teacher just to be sure. <laughs> Hey, we need to talk. I want to ask the other parents about the child that you were cheering for in the race. Is it true that you got remarried and had a child who happens to be in the same year as mine? It's not your husband's ex-wife's child, it's definitely your biological child, right? But this can't be. Your last name is now Roberts, right? And your son's name is Max. My company's chair is named Roberts, so does that mean Max is the son of my boss? Hold on, what on earth is this madness? How could this happen? Hold on, weren't you supposed to be infertile? But you got married and had a child? How? So you just gained all this money in the status of being with a powerful man? Mm. 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 Hey, I'm talking to you. Don't be so rude and answer me. Mm. 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 Hey, Kelly, the sports day is over now. You can message me since this day is almost finished. Hey, answer my questions that I sent during the day. I don't have any answers to give you. All I can say is that I have a good condition with my husband. That doesn't explain anything, Kelly. You want the story of how we met? Is that what you want? Just give me some answers. You have a lot of explaining to do. After we got divorced, I got a job at a company over here, so I moved here to start my job. I ended up taking a ballroom class just for fun. My new husband happened to be in that class too. At first, we started dating without me knowing that he came from a wealthy family who all managed a company. He then proposed to me. I was in shock about the proposal, but we got married and had our son. Is that story sufficient enough for you? You didn't mention anything about how you got pregnant. How were you able to get pregnant if you're infertile? That's what I really want to know. Okay, firstly, I'm not infertile, Andre. If you really want to know, I conceived my son naturally. I didn't have any fertility treatments. Are you being serious right now? Are you playing some sort of trick on me? So you're really not infertile at all? I'm not infertile. How many times do I have to tell you before you understand? About a year ago, I gave birth to my second child. A daughter. What the heck? No way, really? But I didn't see you with any children at the sports day. How am I supposed to believe something like that? Since it was sports day, the sports were limited to how many family members could come and watch their kids. So I left my daughter with my mother to take care of her whilst I watched my son's event. So you gave birth to two children. This can't be. Okay, I've answered your questions. I think it's time for you to stop interrogating me, okay? Excuse me? I'm allowed to ask questions, okay? How dare you? Also, during this conversation, my husband is right here watching you message me. Your husband is reading over your shoulder? Wait, the company chairman? Why are you being like that towards me? Why are you letting him? He has a right to know what my ex-husband is bugging me for information about my family. I just can't reply to your messages without showing my husband. He'll must understand the situation otherwise. This seriously can't be happening right now. There's a thing called privacy. I know about privacy, Andre. He has the right to know. Please understand that this conversation is to remain completely transparent. 
What the heck, Kelly? How dare you talk to me like that? I can't believe this is happening right now. After all I have done for you, I have been nothing but nice to you. This is all your fault. What could I have possibly done to you now, Andre? Why do you message me so much? Because of you, I had to quit my job. I can't work for that company anymore. I'm so humiliated by the fact that my company's chairman's wife was my ex-wife. How can you backstab me like this? After all these years and you just come back and ruin things for me, huh? Um, okay. Where in the situation is it my fault that you quit your job? Was there a point where I asked you to quit your job? Didn't you just quit on your own accord due to some weird pride thing that you have? I didn't push you into quitting your job. You just found out something that you just didn't want to believe. This is not even close to being my fault. I just so happened to be at my child's sports day and cheering the students on. Would you shut up, Kelly? This is your fault and that's all I have to say. This all comes back to you. I can easily get a new job somewhere else that has got nothing to do with you. Someone will definitely hire me. I won't have any issues at all. It's just a bit weird to just go and blame someone for something they had no part to play with. It's rather annoying, so you really need to stop doing that. By all means, go and find another job. Like you said, I'm sure someone will hire you. Stop blaming me for things I didn't do. Hey, we gotta talk. I can't believe something like this has happened to me. My wife just left me and took my child with her. They're just gone and I have no idea where they are. I really don't get why you're contacting me about this. Sh shouldn't you be speaking to your current wife? You know, to find out where she is and where your child is too? I've decided that everything that's happening to me is all your fault. After all this time, you've somehow stepped back into my life and messed it all up. You just had to show up right in front of me in that instant, didn't you? For what you've done to me, I want an explanation. I shouldn't have to quit my job. This is all you're doing. You have been nothing but a pain in my backside since that sports day. Now wait just a minute. Could you please stop acting like I met up with you and ruined everything? Why do you have to treat me this way? Don't you think it was all just a coincidence? It just happened to be that our paths unfortunately crossed again after all this time. It's the fact that you found me start making a fuss and pounce at the chance to annoy me. But you're the one who appeared right in front of me. You ruined everything. How can you say that? I just appeared right in front of you? I didn't do anything to you. You know that I've been living close to this town for nearly eight years, right? Besides, you were the one that just so happened to choose this town to live in. Our kids go to the same elementary schools because you made your child change schools. Well, I had to think about those things. We needed our child to change schools. Is it true that Maisie became like a monster parent as soon as she entered her child into Walter Elementary School in the next town over? Was it to change the environment for the child who ended up knowing for being a problem child at their previous school? What the heck, Kelly? How dare you say such a thing about my own child? How could you have known about something like that? It just so happens that a colleague that I have at work, their child actually goes to Walter Elementary School. They know that your child was a problem in the classroom. That's how I got so much information about what your wife and child are like. I was just able to piece it together. You can't be serious right now. How is there someone that you know that goes to that school? You can't possibly know everyone. How would you even know if it's true? Maybe because my colleague is a reliable source. Look. Even though the situation exists, you don't need to shout halfway across the field that you found your ex-wife. If anyone should be humiliated, it's me. I'm trying to be mature about this, so can you do so as well? You're an adult for goodness sake. Well, now that you say it, I'm an adult and I can do whatever I want and when I want because you ruined everything for me. Okay, that's it. I've had enough of this. Would you please not contact me ever again? I would really greatly appreciate that. Huh? What do you mean? But you're the one to blame for all these things happening to me. How many times do I have to say this before you get it through your thick head, Andre? You're the one who no longer works for my husband's company. I didn't get you fired. Your child will probably end up transferring again at an elementary school in Maisie's hometown. 
There's no longer be a relationship between you and Maisie, which is just a shame for the child. What are you talking about? Do you know why they left? My child is going to be transferring schools again? Okay, now I'm just confused. Did you really not know what's going on at all? I assume because it was your family that you would know? Uh, this is the first time I'm hearing about this. I haven't heard anything like that until now. Really? Oh, I see what you're saying. I don't think I'm the right person to tell you this, but I guess since you're talking to me, maybe I should say something. I don't know. So, I just got this information from the elementary school's mom friend network. You know, to keep each other in the loop about what our kids are doing and such what. The fact that you, the father of the child, didn't know anything about this really important thing is beyond my belief. Would you quit messing me about, Kelly? I don't have the energy or time for this. Tell me what is going on right now. I'm not messing you about in any way, Andre. Look, I can't go into a lot of detail, alright? It's not something that others can speculate about. But I get the impression that your family is on the brink of falling apart. I hope that you realize you're standing in a dangerous territory right now. You could lose everything. I think you've got no choice but to talk it over with Maisie. Maybe you both can repair what needs to be fixed. I can't say anything more than that. But I, I didn't do anything, did I? What could I possibly have done to Maisie to make her leave? None of this makes sense. Uh, but I need to find her and talk to her. I need to see my child. Then go do that. You're a man. You should be able to figure these sort of things out. On that note, I'll say goodbye. I can't believe what I just learned. All these years and I've been living in a lie. The child isn't mine? I don't understand what this means for me. I really don't know or what to say or do. You know if I didn't end up running into you at school, I wouldn't have to suffer such a wave of misfortune. Are you seriously kidding me right now? You're blaming all of this on me? You're still going to continue with this narrative? You're so insane! What? I'm allowed to! My life has been ruined since the day I saw you. Nothing would have happened if I didn't see you. This is absolutely ridiculous! Well, that's odd. Did I forget to block you or something? Huh? What do you mean? I'm not being ridiculous at all. I think it's a fair thing to say. What are you talking about? I'm definitely going to block you this time. I've heard enough nonsense from you. Wait, no! You can't block me! I'm not finished talking to you! You've done me wrong and you gotta fix it! I'm so done with this conversation and you. Goodbye, Andre. Have a nice life. <laughs> Since the end of that conversation, I have received a lot of information through some acquaintances. Firstly, my ex-husband and Maisie got divorced. The custody of the child was given to Maisie. Apparently, she was given a chance to do a DNA test done, and as a result, the parentally test came back negative. Furthermore, it was revealed that my ex-husband was the one who was infertile all along. However, the child was my ex-husband's child according to the family register, so there's an issue with having to pay for child support. In the end, both families got involved and it turned into a massive uproar and was a huge mess to deal with. I don't know if there will be a solution coming out of this case. I don't want to get caught up in the commotion of it all. It seems like more and more people are abandoning them while this continues on. I would like to forget it about and put it all behind me. And it'll be nice to go back to my daily life in peace and quiet it. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see more content like this.